With a device called the Tornado Cannon, researchers duplicate the effects of flying debris by firing a 15-pound 2x4 at more than 100 miles per hour, the speed at which it would be carried by a 250 mile per hour wind. A 250 mile per hour wind speed covers 99% of all tornadoes and 100% of all hurricanes. Three, two, one. This is typical of uh, traditional wall sections. There's simply not enough mass or hardness there to prevent perforation. So the missile simply perforated, went all the way through, and uh, did considerable spalling on the backside. We saw in this masonry with the stud wall uh, section, the missile perforate completely, despite the fact that the speed was only about 70 miles per hour. It would not take a, a severe tornado to carry a missile at, at 70 miles per hour. This wall section that used the uh, four-inch steel studs simply did not have sufficient mass or hardness to withstand the impact of the missile. The missile splintered only when it hit the uh, back wall of the laboratory. The first ICF wall has a six-inch thick solid concrete core with a brick veneer. Again, damage was confined to the vinyl siding and the foam beneath it. The concrete wall itself is unscathed. Another test on the other side of this wall confirms its solid performance. Even at a missile speed of 120 miles per hour, there is no damage to the concrete wall.